We all aim to lead healthy lives, and various factors influence our health, such as our socioeconomic status, access to health care, availability of nutritious foods, and our genetic predisposition. When we consider our health, we often focus on factors like body weight or physical discomfort, but we might not give much thought to our kidneys. Most of us have two kidneys situated deep in our abdomen on either side of the spine. The primary role of our kidneys is to filter toxins from our blood and convert them into urine. When our kidneys don't function properly, these harmful substances and excess fluids can accumulate in the body, potentially leading to kidney failure. Symptoms of kidney failure may include high blood pressure, persistent fatigue, recurring headaches, facial and ankle swelling, as well as lower back pain. What's less known is that certain common habits can have detrimental effects on our kidney health. Let's explore 10 habits that can harm your kidneys. Make sure you watch each segment precisely as we have gone really deep behind the science of these bad habits. Note that this video is for educational purposes only and does not aim to replace your doctors and diagnostics. 1. Overusing painkillers Overusing painkillers, particularly non-prescription medications like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NASEDs, or acetaminophen, can have adverse effects on your kidney. These medications are commonly used to alleviate pain and reduce inflammation, but when taken excessively or for prolonged periods, they can potentially harm your kidney function. One way overuse of painkillers can affect the kidneys is by reducing blood flow to these vital organs, he says. For example, work by inhibiting substances called prostaglandins, which can lead to blood vessel constriction. This constriction can reduce the blood supply to the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter waste and toxins effectively. Furthermore, Long-term and high-dose use of certain painkillers can directly damage kidney tissues. This damage can lead to a condition known as drug-induced nephrotoxicity, where the kidneys become less efficient at filtering waste products from the blood. Over time, this can increase the risk of kidney dysfunction or even kidney failure. In conclusion, while painkillers can provide relief from discomfort, it is essential to use them responsibly and as directed by a healthcare professional. Overusing these medications can have detrimental effects on kidney function, including reduced blood flow and potential direct kidney damage. 2. High salt intake. High salt intake can be detrimental to your kidneys and overall health. The kidneys play a vital role in maintaining the body's salt balance and blood pressure regulation. When you consume excessive amounts of salt, it can lead to various problems for these essential organs. One way high salt intake can harm the kidneys is by increasing blood pressure. Salt contains sodium, and when you consume too much sodium, it can cause your body to retain water. This extra fluid in the bloodstream can raise blood pressure, which in turn puts added strain on the blood vessels in the kidneys. Over time, this increased pressure can damage the delicate blood vessels within the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter waste and regulate blood pressure effectively. Additionally, a high salt diet can lead to the formation of kidney stones. Excess sodium can contribute to an accumulation of calcium in the urine, increasing the risk of calcium-based kidney stones. These stones can be painful and may cause blockages in the urinary tract, which can ultimately harm the kidneys. 3. Not drinking enough water. The kidneys play a vital role in maintaining the body's fluid balance and filtering waste products from the blood. When you don't consume an adequate amount of water, several problems can arise. One of the primary functions of the kidneys is to concentrate urine and remove waste products from the body. 
When you're dehydrated due to insufficient water intake, the kidneys can't work as effectively. This can lead to the accumulation of waste and toxins in the bloodstream, potentially causing kidney damage over time. Additionally, chronic dehydration can increase the risk of kidney stones. When there isn't enough fluid to dilute waste products, substances like calcium and uric acid can become concentrated in the urine, forming crystals that may eventually develop into kidney stones these stones can be painful and can obstruct the urinary tract, further harming kidney function. Furthermore, inadequate water intake can contribute to urinary tract infections, UTI. When there isn't enough fluid to flush out bacteria from the urinary system, it can lead to the colonization of harmful bacteria, potentially leading to UTI, which can also affect the kidneys if left untreated. Four. Not getting enough sleep. Sleep is essential for the body to repair and regenerate tissues, maintain metabolic balance, and support overall well-being. When sleep is consistently disrupted or insufficient, it can lead to problems that may harm the kidney. Sleep deprivation can affect the body's hormonal regulation, particularly the release of hormones like cortisol and aldosterone. Cortisol is associated with stress and inflammation, and disrupted sleep can lead to higher cortisol levels. Elevated cortisol levels may contribute to increased blood pressure and inflammation, both of which can negatively impact kidney health. Aldosterone plays a role in regulating blood pressure and electrolyte balance in disruptions in its release due to inadequate sleep can lead to imbalances that affect the kidneys. Moreover, chronic sleep deprivation is associated with an increased risk of conditions like obesity and diabetes, which are risk factors for kidney disease. Obesity can lead to metabolic changes that put additional stress on the kidneys, while diabetes can damage blood vessels and nerves in the kidneys. Sleep deprivation can also contribute to insulin resistance, making blood sugar regulation more challenging and potentially worsening kidney-related complications. 5. Eating too much meat. While protein is an essential nutrient, excessive intake can create additional work for the kidneys, potentially leading to kidney related problems. Meat, particularly red and processed meats, is rich in protein. When we consume more protein than our body needs, the excess is metabolized and converted into waste products, including urea and ammonia. The kidneys are responsible for filtering and excreting these waste products from the blood through urine. A high-protein diet can increase the workload on the kidneys, and over time, this can strain these vital organs. Furthermore, some components of meat, such as purines, can be metabolized into uric acid. Elevated levels of uric acid in the blood can lead to conditions like gout and kidney stones. Uric acid crystals can accumulate in the kidneys, potentially causing kidney stones, which can be painful and impair kidney function. Additionally, excessive meat consumption can contribute to conditions like high blood pressure and obesity, both of which are risk factors for kidney disease. High blood pressure can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter waste and maintain proper fluid and electrolyte balance. Obesity can lead to metabolic changes that put extra stress on the kidney. In summary, eating too much meat, especially red and processed meats, can burden the kidneys by increasing the workload required to process excess protein and potentially lead to conditions like high blood pressure and obesity, which can negatively impact kidney health. To support kidney health, it's important to consume meat in moderation and maintain a balanced diet. 6. High Sugar Intake Firstly, 
A high sugar intake can lead to the development or exacerbation of conditions like obesity and type 2 diabetes, both of which are risk factors for kidney disease. Obesity can result in metabolic changes that put extra stress on the kidneys in individuals with type 2 diabetes, high blood sugar levels can damage the blood vessels and small filtering units, glomeruli, in the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter waste effectively. Secondly, high sugar intake can contribute to high blood pressure, another significant risk factor for kidney damage. Consuming too much sugar, especially in the form of fructose, can lead to increased production of uric acid and reduced production of nitric oxide, a molecule that helps relax and dilate blood vessels. These changes can result in elevated blood pressure, which can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys and reduce their ability to function properly. Lastly, a high sugar diet can lead to increased protein excretion in the urine, a sign of kidney stress. Excessive sugar consumption may affect the glomeruli, making them more permeable and allowing proteins to leak into the urine. Over time, this can lead to kidney damage and impair kidney function. 7. Smoking The toxic chemicals found in tobacco smoke can damage blood vessels throughout the body, including those in the kidneys. This damage can lead to impaired blood flow to the kidneys, reducing their ability to function properly. Furthermore, smoking is a significant risk factor for the development and progression of kidney disease. Studies have shown that individuals who smoke are more likely to develop chronic kidney disease, or CKD, compared to non-smokers. CKD is a long-term condition where the kidneys gradually lose their ability to filter waste and excess fluids from the blood. Smoking can accelerate the progression of CKD and increase the risk of kidney failure, which may necessitate dialysis or transplantation. Moreover, smoking is associated with high blood pressure, another risk factor for kidney damage. Nicotine in tobacco smoke can lead to increased heart rate and blood pressure, straining the blood vessels in the kidneys over time. High blood pressure can cause damage to the small blood vessels in the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter blood effectively and leading to kidney problems. In summary, smoking is harmful to kidney health in several ways. It can damage blood vessels in the kidneys, increase the risk of chronic kidney disease, accelerate kidney disease progression, and contribute to high blood pressure, all of which can have detrimental effects on kidney function. Quitting smoking is essential not only for overall health, but also for preserving kidney health. 8. Drinking alcohol in excess. You know, alcohol is a diuretic meaning it increases urine production and leads to dehydration. Prolonged or chronic dehydration can strain the kidneys as they need an adequate fluid balance to function properly. Dehydration can also lead to the formation of kidney stones, which are painful and can obstruct the urinary tract. Also, excessive alcohol consumption can lead to high blood pressure a significant risk factor for kidney disease. Alcohol can disrupt the balance of fluids and electrolytes in the body, leading to increased blood pressure. Over time, high blood pressure can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter blood effectively. Lastly, heavy drinking can lead to alcoholic liver disease, which can indirectly harm the kidneys. When the liver is damaged, it may produce fewer proteins needed for blood clotting and maintaining fluid balance, potentially causing fluid retention and swelling in the body, including the kidneys. 9. Sedentary Lifestyle A sedentary lifestyle, characterized by a lack of physical activity and prolonged periods of sitting or inactivity, can harm your kidneys and overall health in several ways. 
Regular physical activity helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, which is essential for kidney health. Engaging in exercise improves blood vessel function and helps regulate blood pressure. When you lead a sedentary lifestyle, your blood pressure is more likely to remain elevated, increasing the strain in the kidneys over time. High blood pressure can damage the small blood vessels in the kidneys and impair their ability to filter waste from the blood. Physical activity can help control weight and prevent obesity. Obesity is a significant risk factor for kidney disease. Excess body fat can lead to metabolic changes that strain the kidneys and increase the risk of kidney-related problems. A sedentary lifestyle can contribute to weight gain and exacerbate obesity, further jeopardizing kidney health. Lastly, physical activity can enhance overall cardiovascular health reducing the risk of conditions like diabetes and heart disease, both of which can harm the kidneys. Diabetes and cardiovascular diseases are closely linked to kidney disease, and a sedentary lifestyle can increase the likelihood of developing these conditions. 10. Overtraining. Overtraining, also known as overtraining syndrome, OTS, can negatively impact your kidneys and overall health. This condition occurs when there is an excessive and prolonged engagement in intense physical training or exercise without adequate rest and recovery. Overtraining can harm your kidneys in several ways. Overtraining can lead to dehydration. Intense exercise causes the body to lose fluids through sweating and when not adequately replaced, it can result in dehydration. Dehydration puts extra strain on the kidneys as they need sufficient fluids to filter waste products and maintain electrolyte balance. The kidneys rely on proper hydration to function optimally, and when dehydrated, their efficiency may decrease, potentially causing kidney stress. Also, overtraining can increase muscle breakdown and protein breakdown products in the bloodstream such as creatinine and myoglobin. Elevated levels of these waste products can put added stress on the kidneys as they must work harder to eliminate them. In extreme cases, overtraining can lead to a condition known as rhabdomyolysis, where muscle breakdown is severe, causing the release of harmful proteins into the bloodstream. This condition can potentially lead to kidney damage or even kidney failure if not promptly addressed. Moreover, overtraining can disrupt the body's hormonal balance, particularly the release of stress hormones like cortisol. Elevated cortisol levels can contribute to high blood pressure, which is a significant risk factor for kidney damage. Chronic stress from overtraining can exacerbate this hormonal imbalance and increase the risk of kidney-related problems. 